Hey guys, it's me, Arlene, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. Today, I want to talk about powdery perfumes. So I have to admit, powdery fragrances aren't my favorite type of perfume. I do have a few, though, in my collection that I actually really love. So I'll be sharing those with you today. I have six in total. And we're going to begin with my most favorite powdery perfume ever. So this one is called Chanel Number no. 19 Poudre. I know it's really difficult to see, but if I put something dark behind it, then you can see that it's 19 Poudre Eau de Parfum. I do like the regular 19, the, the non-Poudre version, but I do prefer this one a lot more. So some notes in this one, there's iris, there's galbanum, vetiver, and musk. It is a beautiful powdery scent. There's no sweetness in here whatsoever on my skin. What I do get is a very spring, summery type of scent that to me smells like powder, like a green powder. If you can imagine taking the scent of grass and then transforming it into a powder-like consistency, that's what Chanel 19 Poudre smells like to me. I also get some iris in here and also a beautiful vetiver note, which is very soft and also adds a little bit of smokiness to this green powder. And it's lovely, you guys. I have gone through some decants of it. I'm still working on the decants before I get into this bottle, but yeah, this is my absolute favorite powdery scent. And yeah, I really enjoy it a lot. So the next one here is a cheapie, you guys. This one is from the H&M collection, which I'm a huge, huge fan of, especially, especially their single note perfumes. This one is called H&M Chalk. So I have talked about this perfume in the past. This one only has one note and it's just simply chocolate. And to me, it smells like a powdery cocoa, and that's basically all it is. Mm, yeah, <laughs> this one is great for layering. It just literally smells like powdery chocolate, powdery cocoa with some sweetness. It's perfect. And for the price, you really can't go wrong. Of course, um, the longevity on a lot of these ones from H&M isn't the best, but you know, if you're just looking for something simple and quick and a, a pick me up and you just want to smell like a burst of powdery chocolate, then H&M Chalk is definitely one to try. It's only 5.99 euros for this 20 mil and I just really enjoy this. It's so simple and fun and sometimes that's all I'm in the mood for. So that's H&M Chalk. The next one here is another cheapy perfume from the House of Zara that I love and I've talked about it quite a bit already you guys. I haven't had this bottle for very long but I've put a big big dent in this one. <laughs> this one has notes of rice, pear and sandalwood but in the opening you get this most beautiful juicy powdery pear scent and it's quite a unique fragrance. In the dry down, it does start smelling like the actual mochi dessert, um, which is delicious. And it does have that powdery coating around it that kind of, to me, smells a little bit like powdered sugar. So it's a very beautiful, unique gourmand, inexpensive. It's only $50.95 for this 100 ml bottle. And it's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> so that is Zara, a mochi atelier in Tokyo. Next up, we have a fragrance from the beautiful house of Narciso Rodriguez. This is one of the flankers and of, sorry, this is one of the flankers of the For Her collection. And this is Narciso Rodriguez For Her Low. So some notes in this one, there's Lily of the Valley, there's Musk, there's Peony and Rose and Patchouli. Basically, it is a musky lily of the valley scent where the lily of the valley is the most prominent. I don't think I've ever mentioned powder when talking about this perfume before. Actually, I'm not really sure, but I definitely do get a powderiness in here. And yeah, it's 
beautiful. It reminds me of a green garden in the spring or the summer. Also kind of reminds me a little bit of Guerlain Idylla, which I absolutely love and also talk a lot about. And if you can just picture a beautiful spring flower garden, and then you have some fruitiness in here, which I'm not sure is in the notes, but there's definitely a fresh watery fruit um, note in here that I'm just thinking if you're just sprinkling some fruit juices on top of this beautiful spring garden. That's what I get from here with, of course, some powdery notes in the background. It's not the most prominent, but it does come off quite powdery, especially in the dry down, which is gorgeous. So that's Narciso Rodriguez for her low. The next one here is from the House of Guerlain, and this is Guerlain Insolence EDT. I think I do prefer this version over the EDP. I do like the EDP, but I just find this one to be a lot lighter and easier to wear and more, more versatile. So, mm, oh my gosh, such a beautiful scent. Some notes in this one are violet, iris, red berries, and orange blossom. What I get when I wear this on my skin is a powdery and sweet violet scent, where violet is the most noticeable, and behind that we have some iris. To me, it's quite candy-like. It's extremely sweet, almost delicious, but at the same time, it's not something that I want to eat. Maybe like edible flowers or something like that, where, you know, if they ever put edible flowers on a cake, it's something that I won't eat. <laughs> I'll eat the cake, but not the actual flower petals. Um, but yeah, it does give me that vibe of like sugared flower petals or sugared violet petals. And the powder in here kind of reminds me of powdered sugar and white sugar. And it's just a pretty scent that... I enjoy more in the spring and summer. Of course, you can wear it whenever you want to, but it's just a gorgeous floral scent that is so, so nice. So that's Insolence Eau de Toilette by the House of Guerlain. Next up, well, actually, this is the last one that I'll be talking about today. This is one of my favorite gourmand fragrances that I actually don't really talk a lot about anymore, but I still really love it, you guys. This is from the House of Zero Molecule, and it's called Bianco Latte. So, yeah, I've had this for a long, long time, you guys. Sorry about this fingerprint stuff. <laughs> I've had this for a while. I adore it so, so much. Some notes in this one are butter, caramel, vanilla, and salt. I'm not sure if I have mentioned the powderiness that I get in here in other videos, but there is definitely a powderiness that runs through here. And basically, this one to me smells like whipped cream drizzled with a salted caramel and then sprinkled on top with some powdery sugar. It is also quite creamy and milky, and I get that more so in the dry down. Oh, here's the name of it. I really like how they put the name on the side of the bottle. And yeah, it is a very comforting scent. One of my favorite gourmands um, that, yeah, like I said, I used to talk about it a lot before, but not so much more. Uh, lately. But anyways, Zero Molecule or M Molecule Torino Bianco Latte. One of my favorite powdery perfumes for sure. So that was my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys want to let me know in the comments what you think about these perfumes, I would love to hear it. And also, if you have any suggestions for powdery scents, let me know in the comments too especially like powdery gourmands. I'd love to hear that. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care guys. Bye-bye.